But um, actually, almost three years ago, I went to the first CFWLA annual conference, and that really changed how I viewed my work. I was going through a time where um, I wasn't sure where I was going with my career. Um, <clears throat> my I had always been a clinician, and then my my, well, my boss's boss sort of took notice of my work and um, <clears throat> was offering, you know, did I want to kind of step up in some kind of leadership management roles, you know, come to be, you know, the associate medical director of the hospital. And I was like, well, why, why, why am I doing this? Why would I do that? I, I never had an ambition to do that. And, um, and, uh, and I was, you know, kind of afraid to fail, wasn't sure I had the right, I mean, he, he seemed to think I had the right temperament and soft skills or whatever, but it's like, I didn't, you know, I, I'm successful doing what I'm doing right now. Do I want to try to do something else? And I never really wanted to rise in any kind of ranks. <clears throat> but I went to the conference and um, and I learned, um, you know, you know, kind of going back to what Steve was saying this morning, that, you know, in Genesis, God created the earth with work for man to do even before he created man, and this was before the fall, there's been, you know, man, we were created to work, and um, and when we work, we are, you know, we're stewards of God, and, um, and our work is an expression of God's glory, and um, that really just changed how I saw everything that I was doing. I'm not just working to work, I'm not just working for a paycheck, and I'm, and I'm not working just because I went to medical school, so I'd better go be a doctor. <laughs> Um, you know, I'm really working because this is part of God's kingdom, and this is part of um, just um, expression, expressing God's intention for the for the world. 